That's about it. Just don't be a jerk. Be my friend. I'm the same person, just different appearance, different pronouns. That's it. So yeah, this is me. Hopefully you can be accepting of that. And uh, I'll see you around. So yeah, it's been two years, and I'm still trans. Coffee is life, yeah. So hey everybody. I guess like at this point, should we just like make it like an annual tradition that I basically just ghost my YouTube channel for like a couple months in the fall? Cause that seems to be what I do. Sorry, you know how it is. But um, if any of you are wondering, yes, I'm still doing the keto diet. Yes, I'm still trying to lose weight. Yes, I've kind of plateaued, but I'm sticking with it. And I'm going to get back to uploading my weekly videos again in short order. So just sit tight. That's still a thing. But that's not what this video is about. Um, it has been two years since I came out. That's insane. And I... It's hard to believe that time has just flown by like that. Um, on the one hand, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. I was sitting here in my cheap wig and pre basically everything, no HRT, um, so so makeup, just trying to not panic that I was actually recording this video. Now this is part three. But on the other hand, it really does almost feel like a lifetime ago. I genuinely am at a point where my life before coming out seems like kind of a distant memory. And this year has had a lot of changes for me. Um, I started a new job. Um, where I am surrounded by a bunch of caring and accepting people. I have had the chance to catch up with a lot of family that I have not seen in many, many years, long before um, I started my transition. This is a thing now. Um, and I have lost a bunch of weight. Um, I still have a ways to go um, before I really hit my ultimate goals um, in that regard, but I am in a much healthier and happier place than I was um, even 12 months ago. You know, um, I think one of the biggest developments this past year has um, just been my overall engagement with the community in a way that um, I really hadn't um, the previous year. I think the first 12 months of my transition was spent really trying to um, get my footing. 11 hours from now I'll be in court. to get my name changed. And um, 
aside from personally adjusting to my new status quo, really working with everybody else around me to get used to the new normal. And at a certain point, I kind of hit a stage of the mundane, shall we say? Um, where every day is just me being me and um, there's not like a ton of dramatic physical changes or um, or transition related developments. I mean my weight loss has been part of my transition efforts and really was a side effect of my prepping for uh, potential bottom surgery and as you all know if you've been following this channel that just didn't pan out um, and I still have other things that I'm working towards but overall it's just kind of the same every day but having that normalcy of just being myself and not really having the stress of trying to change my name and get people used to me being trans and um, people not thinking of me how they did before. I've spent more time engaging with you and with other people um, who are on a similar journey. I finally got to go to Pride this year, and uh, that was an amazing and crazy experience. And I went to the Trans Wellness Conference this year. I legitimately had people looking for me. I guess because in some sense, some people think that I'm an influencer, which is a weird term and a weird feeling to have somebody view you that way, that maybe what I had to say could be helpful to someone. Um, and it has been heartwarming being able to meet some of you, interact with you, um, talk with a lot of people online um, who are in the place that I was a couple of years ago. Um, And I think the, the biggest and probably the most important development um, this year has been Rachel and I working on the podcast. This is Our, Our Life, Life in, in Transition. Transition. And part of that grew out of the recognition that in me putting out videos and me posting um, on social media that me having a voice and um, potentially something to say um, could have a positive effect. It was obvious that Rachel had a voice that needed to be heard as well because my transition isn't something that I experience in a vacuum. It's not just about me, it's about the people around me um, and most importantly her. And last year when I posted um, my one year update I, I closed the video talking about how important Rachel was to me and how supportive she's been and that's a story that is more common than a lot of people realize there obviously is no universal experience of how things are going to go when you come out it's just not um, however the assumption that some people have that Everybody in your life, especially your spouse, is just going to abandon you and run for the hills is not necessarily the case. I've been fortunate in that, um, as Rachel put it, I'm her person regardless of my presentation and my gender and that she wouldn't leave me um, because I'm her person. Um, but there are other couples out there that are going through um, a similar experience. Besides, you know, some anecdotal um, 
responses, a lot of that effort kind of felt like us talking into the void. We were putting out the podcast, um, we were getting some positive feedback, um, but we didn't know if it was actually helping anybody, if it was doing any good other than just being entertaining for um, other people in the community who just wanted to listen to to people goof around and talk about pickle cravings and dealing with a crazy toddler. Um, but um, this past weekend we got an email from one of our listeners um, who very much sounded uh, like they were like they are where I was two years ago. Um, they were afraid of coming out. They were afraid that they were about to lose everything. Um, and listening to our podcast helped them. And I, I don't say this because I'm bragging about how wonderful our podcast is. I mean, it is a great podcast, and you should listen to it if you're not, I mean, if you're not, what in the hell are you doing? But, it, um, I just started putting these videos out, um, because I'm a geeky, creative person, and I didn't know of a better way to really let everybody know in, in one fell swoop what was going on with me. I, I made that first transition video because I just needed my friends and family to hear what I had to say, understand what was going on with me, put an image in their head of what was going on so that they understood that this was a real thing and more easily wrap their heads around what was going to be a very dramatic change as far as their relationship with me. And then I just kept making videos initially to further explain that to the people that are important to me. So this year has been pretty emotional for me in that regard. I, um, I really can't put into words um, how happy I am that whatever rambling thing I had to say might have helped someone. Um, and one of the great things is that I'm not alone in that. Um, I, I have met so many wonderful and inspiring people um, this past year who are doing so much by just being visible and being themselves and allowing their stories to be heard. The world is not always welcoming to people like me. Each and every one of you who is willing and can safely tell your story and has done so or is willing to do so. Thank you. That is what inspired me to be able to be myself. Um, that is what helps so many other people realize that they're not alone. And every person who's able and willing to be visible allows the next person the space to be themselves. So, as we come to the end of this year, um, I'm looking forward to what 2020 has in store, which is weird to say. How the hell is it 2020 already? Um, but thank you for 
sticking with me on this crazy little journey of mine and my silly little channel. And um, thanks for tuning in after I disappear for months on end. Sorry. <laughs> and I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful holiday and the best new year. And then if you are in a dark place, um, I hope this helps. And if you are despairing um, about how you feel, I just want you to know that you're okay. And though things can be tough, um, the world is full of more possibilities than you could possibly ever imagine. So yeah, that's all I've got from my rambling little seed in front of the Christmas tree. Thanks again, and um, I'll see you around.